Okay, let's open the extra primitives panel. Let's drag that over. Dock it in the Unity editor. Should resize that. Okay, let's start with the pillar for our temple. So we have cylindrical primitives. We'll pick the hexa hexagonal shape. Just uh, scale that up. Okay, we'll go back to the rectangular primitives. We'll add a top to our pillar. Let's move that up a bit. Okay, and resize that with the scale tool. Okay, just drag the handles. Okay, we duplicate that with the control D. Change the Y. And then we've got one at the top and one at the bottom. So duplicate that again. Control D. Just move that up. axis as well on the scale, it's quite handy. Drop that in place, do another duplicate, change the X. There we go, got one at the top, one at the bottom, that's pretty cool, there's that pillar. So now add an empty game object, select all the parts of the pillar, drag them into there, group them together, we name that pillar. Keep things nice and neat and tidy. Okay, now we're going to use another rapid unit tool, array wizard. An area array um, on the x axis, set them equal to each other. Of six pillars by four pillars, group them together, and bam, there you go. Okay, it's pretty cool. Starting to look like our temple now. I'm just going to add another primitive to create the steps on the floor. Okay, let's just um, move the pillars so that the centre of the pillars is at zero, zero. Just makes it a little bit easier as we're modelling the rest of the parts. Okay, oh, no, not three. Uh, minus four, oh, it's minus five. Okay, that's cool. Let's right, change the z-axis and move that down. Okay, oh, wrong way. Yeah, minus three, that's going bang on. Okay, so if we now select that primitive we've added, move it up a bit, Just use the scale tool again. There we go. Okay, just switch the top view actually. Um, we use the inspector, it's a bit easier. There we go. And X. Just move that into position. Just duplicate that. Same way with Control D. Change the Y axis. There we go. There we go. Smart. Okay, let's create another step for the bottom part. So if you have Control D, duplicate that, rescale it. Okay, right, we'll add a, a roof now to our temple. There we go, let's move that up. A bit on the small side, so scale that up. There you go. Switch to its top view. Use the inspector again. Okay. So then you can use the scale. Drag it up and down, make it higher or lower. Use the inspector set to four. That's good. Just move it into position. There we go. Okay, we've got a plane. To the ground. Okay, just position that and scale that up. Can we use another one of the Rapid Unity Tools Light Library? There we go, it's added white light. A bit brighter, the textured light looks a bit better. Yeah, not bad. Okay, 
those coloured lights, gives it a bit more atmosphere. Okay. Play around with some of the different presets there. Overcast. There we go, sunset. Quite easy to just click the buttons and get the different light setups. We'll go back to textured lights. Well, that's good for the purpose of this demo. And that's it. Thanks for watching.